All right, now we have a bit more normal CDF on our docket before we head off to inverse norm. Um, I wanted to cover this question because, you know, it's a good one. Um, because it uses real life data, it uses um, a story problem kind of setup. So let's see here. The mean, or excuse me, the combined verbal and quantitative reasoning scores on the GRE is normally distributed with a mean of 1066 and a standard deviation of 191. The GRE, by the way, in case you don't know, is like um, it's sort of like the SATs, but for graduate students. So if you're done with your bachelor's degree and you're heading on to graduate work, that's the test you take. So first thing they want to know is what proportion of scores, GRE scores, are between. See that word, between. Well, that's the easiest kind of probabilities to find. Oops, let me make this smaller. What we want is normal CDF, so second distribution, number two, a type 800, 800, comma, 1200, comma. Now tell it the mean and the standard deviation. If you don't, it thinks it's the standard curve, which is 0 and 1, respectively. We don't mean that at all. So we want. 1066 comma 191 enter there you go done 0 0.67666 blah blah next Department of Psychology at Columbia requires a minimum score of 1350 minimum so they, they want that or higher right what proportion of students are going to be that high so let's find out so we're going to do second distribution normal CDF 1350 to forever right 1 double E 99 right because it goes on forever hypothetically now we all know it can't really go on forever but that's okay just put in infinity 1 E 99 then 1066 comma 191 close parentheses enter there you go Columbia will only look at you if you're in the top what would that be in a percent? Six point whoopsie eight five percent. It's a it's an Ivy League, right? If you're not really, really high, they're not even gonna give you the time of day. At least that's what I've been told. Now, what is the percentile rank of a student who earns a combined GRE score of eleven hundred? Okay, be careful. I'm asking for percentile rank. That uses normal CDF. What I'm asking is what percent of people are below you. I mean, if you score 1100, are you in the 10th percentile, the 20th? What? Who's lower than you? So let's find it. I'm going to clear this. Okay, it's going to be normal, so second distribution. Number two, normal CDF. I want to go forever to the low end. Negative one. E, second, double E, 99 comma okay so you're saying negative forever we all know you can't score a negative but that's okay this is a hypothetical thing that you're doing you're using a hypothetical normal curve to approximate what's going on here in real life up to 1100 because this person scored 1100 1066 comma 191 close your parentheses enter there you go so at 0 0.5706 we would round that Right? You've got to round it to the 57th percentile. Right? That's the person. So if you scored 1100 on this thing, you were in the 57th percentile. Alrighty, that's the end of that. Next section we're going to be dealing with will be using inverse norm. Da da da. Alright, see you then.